it though. Uh, right now. Oh, so it was me and um, Charmander and the High Story got put on the back burner, um, mostly because Hannah's not here and I need her here so that I can finish the saga of the heist. And Nick, I know that means nothing to you, but <laughs> for longtime listeners of the show will know that I've been planning a heist um, for quite some time. Um, and we're nearing the conclusion. But in order to finish that, I need Hannah to come back. And she will come back. I will drag her by her toesiosis. Um, and when that happens. But until then, uh, me and Charmander were uh, hanging out uh, alone. In fact, on a bus stop. Um, we were just waiting there, not for the bus per se, but just waiting there because it was uh, kind of looking like rain a little bit. And, you know, Charmanders don't really like the rain. Um, so we're hanging out at the bus stop when someone approached us. And do you know what they said to us, Nick? What they say? No, you tell me what they said. Oh, oh, they're like, hey, buddy, you got a light. <laughs> well, funny you should say that because uh, Charmander used flamethrower, burned that poor person into cindery ash. Uh, <laughs> we ended up hiding them in, you know, those little uh, stand up trash cans at the edge of a bus stop that doesn't seem <laughs> yes. quite big enough to hold any substantial amount of trash and is always overflowing. We, we had their remains in there. Um, naturally, we were in a city urban environment and nobody cares about anybody there. And we just kind of walked away as the weather cleared up and much to the sounds of, hey, ooh, threw this thing in here. There's no room for my bagel. I guess I'll just feed it to the Pidgeotos. And uh, that's the end of that story. I don't know where the fuck I'm going with any of this shit. What is happening to me? I don't know anything that's ever happening. And that is the mantra of this show, After Dark Rye. Hello, my name is Brett. And this is a No Holds Bar, No Nothing show where we're talking about Pokemon and hurt the ones we love. And baby, we love everybody. <laughs> that voice you heard is not Hannah, but it's equally as sexy, probably. And uh, that is my good friend, Nicodemus Rex. Nick. What's up? How's it going? Oh, it's going all right. Uh, fans of the show that that branched off of uh, Let's Die, the His vs. Hers Guide to the Apocalypse, the podcast, will remember Nick from our Echo Echo series where we would play oh, terrible God. games on the Amazon Echo, like Jurassic World Revealed and Skyrim and all sorts of nonsense. He's also appeared on our various Transformers episodes and more beyond that. I mean, you... You're you're practically deserving deserving to be paid. You appeared so much. Uh, um, this is not admissible in court. Just so you know, uh, Nick, you are a. I would say you're a professional artist. You get paid to do yep. art. I'm uh, I'm increasingly like having to admit to myself that I can. Hey, you know, I am allowed to say that I'm a professional artist. I don't just have to say that I'm a part time sandwich maker. Yeah, I and you're blowing up lately. Is so a little birdie told me. Uh, and here in a bit, we're gonna show <laughs> your stuff on the screen. So for people on the watching right. on the YouTube's, I'll, I'm gonna do that. Maybe if I can figure out how to fucking know it. Yeah, so you got a Patreon. I yes. wanna I wanna throw that up on the screen real quick. Whammo blammos. Oh boy boy. Hang on. They got real on. big. Yeah, I'm having I'm having technical difficulties, as is normal with the show. So patreon.com slash Nicodemus Rex. That's N-I-C-O-D-E-M-U-S-R-E-X-X. Links will be in the description, all that fun stuff. But you can select a membership level and and get privy to all of Nick's fancy artwork. He's awesome. Uh, he's also got an Instagram at the same address, Nicodemus Rex, and where you can follow him and check out all of his things. Like he's just a dope artist. And everyone that's that's watched this show, um, everyone that's ever watched this show is familiar with your work because everyone's seen my chest tattoo oh, yeah. of, my, of my Pokemon and you're the one that you're the person responsible for drawing that. So, yep. uh, congratulations, Nick. Thank <laughs> you. Your work is forever immortalized on my body and I do appreciate it. <laughs> well, so how you been, buddy? As long as you're happy with it. That's what counts. Definitely. I better be. It's on me. <laughs> I love it, honestly. Uh, so, Nick, how you been, man? 
doing all right. Um, just uh, been you know, working on commissions. Took a took a week off from the part time job to try to catch up on some stuff. So that's where I'm at right now. Got a uh, not looking forward to having to get back to things on Monday, but you know, still got a couple of days. Ain't that the truth for everybody? Uh, my job yeah. just my place of business recently announced that our company is no longer going to be employing us. Um, and instead another company is going to come in and absorb us, which is, has a lot of other ramifications that will affect me to a great degree to the point where Hmm. things may happen. We'll see. We'll know more next week. So. Well, I hope the uh, things that happen are good things and not, annoying thing me too but you never know i might have to start a patreon <laughs> <laughs> um just kidding no one would subscribe to that um if you would subscribe to that you can instead leave a rating and review and then subscribe to it later when it becomes a reality uh but nick this show is about pokemon oh my god i remember pokemon like- you do <laughs> what do you remember about pokemon specifically nick uh Red and blue version. I had yellow version for a while. Um, nice. Uh, there was a time I could have probably named all 150 of the originals. I probably still know them, but I wouldn't be able to put them in any kind of order or anything like oh, that. Oh, we're going to test that today, my friend. Oh, no. oh, like Anything yes. past the original generation, though, is pretty much... So you're, o- you're an OG-er. You're an OG yeah. Gen 1-er. Yeah, that's me. Unfor- like, I kind of what was that sort of you know after gen one when things started getting a little more complicated with the other pokemon that was like the the i ended up i think i ended up moving like into being like a digimon bro at that point is what happened uh well it's not gonna get any easier because we're getting as uh we get closer inch ever closer to gen nine which you know is gonna come someday it's not there's no rumors on that but you know it's gonna happen eventually of course Um, i think gen nine they're gonna hit a thousand if I'm wow. not mistaken, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, because if you're adding like a uh, hundred plus per game, then well, they don't always. Um, yeah. I mean, don't I don't want to, god, I don't want to research this right now, but like uh, a couple of gens are like 60 ish, I want to say, well, yeah, because like I'm that. sure they yeah. usually contain a couple of the old guys, yeah, so. and then it seems like every other gen or every three gens they come out with a whole bunch of them, you know, mm-hmm. something you know, like that. I heard this really interesting rumor. I don't know if it's true, but one of my friends who's more in Pokemon than I am told me this. This could be completely wrong, but allegedly, like a lot of the Pokemon designs they have were like actually created by like the original designer like years ago, and they're kind of coming around. Like, so the ones we're getting are the ones that like they didn't use back then. I don't know if that's true or not. I find it amusing though. I don't believe that's true. Um, okay. There was a massive leak um, where. And, you know, Nintendo stuff rarely ever leaks. Yeah, um, they, they got good security for the most yeah, part. Yeah, and Game Freak especially, they do not like to speak about their development process at all. Like, they're imagine. very hush-hush on everything. And so this leak um, was a demo version of... I, I forget what it was, but it was a demo version that had all like a lot of art assets and stuff from mm-hmm. Pokemon that don't exist in the game or Pokemon that do exist but look completely different at the time. And some of them fucking things are wild as hell. Like you'd you'd love to you'd love to see it. Uh, those old school like was it eight bit or sixteen bit? Oh yeah, pixel art yeah, yeah. mons. Like man, they some of them are crazy looking. Um, we actually talked about it with uh, Doctor Lava, who is um, an expert on the Pokemon trivia in general, but also like those leaks, those huge leaks. Like he was a source for that. We had him on the show not too long ago. It was oh episode, nice, it's really cool. Uh, it was definitely over a year ago, but it was like um, episode number episode number one, the Bubble Store episode. Nice. We, we had Doctor Lava on, so like listeners can feel free to check that out. We talk about the leak a lot in, in that one when that when that first happened. So, um, I a, a, as a person, I knew going into this that you weren't up to snuff on the newer stuff. The yeah. you know the over there's 800 plus pokemon right now um it's a lot it's a yep. lot uh so <laughs> i knew you were real rusty so i came up with the game just for you it's a game we played with a uh, friend of the show andrea andrea 
I tried to get her on. She didn't want to come back. Is the techno the technological technologicalness of it was too much to bear for her. <laughs> so uh, check that episode out if you want to see the first instance of the show. I will get her someday back. But until then, we're just kind of doing what we got to do. And you're my guinea pig for the new format of this Ooh. of this. So give me a second. There is a an, a visual. Um, a visual portion to this. So if you're watching Sweet. on YouTube, that's visual the way learner, I watch so that's it. good for yeah, me. Yeah, baby. Let me just share my screen there. Okay. There's this, there's all these fantastic art pieces here. Yeah, that stuff looks familiar. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Word. Um, so Nick, I'm going to yes. show you a series of pictures. And for the audio listener, me or you or we will describe these Pokemon. Um, I won't give it away what each one is. Obviously, I'll tell you what, what the correct answer is after the fact. Right. But I want you to tell me if it is, in fact, a Pokemon. Is it a All Pokemon? Right, is, and is what is its name? And <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm going to be able to guess the name from scratch. Oh, All yeah. right. I want you to I see the character design and tell, feel out the name oh, for I see. me. Yeah. What would you... Like, what would you name this Pokemon? Okay, <laughs> that's what that's what I want. Um, bonus points if you can guess like their elemental typing, or not bonus points if I have to tell you to help guide you along. So, this is All a right. segment called "The Fuck Is That a Pokemon?" The game. <laughs> <laughs> First one. Here we go. The household name. The here we city. go. You see that guy? Oh my. Nick. Yes. The fuck is that a Pokemon? <laughs> what we have it's is the right art style. Appears to be a sword with a sort of sash to the left, appearing to with that ends in some kind of fingers um, with its arm, and a what appears to be a buckle or more likely a shield on its left arm with a singular eye in the hilt of the said sword. The fuck is that a Pokemon, Nick? Hmm. I'm going to risk embarrassing myself early on and say yes. You would be correct. That is, in fact, a fucking Pokemon. Awesome. What is its name? Um, what would you name it? <laughs> I'm just going to call it Swordazor. Swordazor? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, this is Aegislash. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Age I, is I, I cool. figured it had to either be based on the sword or the shield. What? I guessed the wrong one. I'm going to tell you the typing on this one. It is a ghost steel Pokemon. God, I wouldn't have guessed. I was going to guess like psychic because they usually have that kind of weird look. But yeah, ghost, that kind of makes sense. So next up. All right. The fuck is that Pokemon, Nick? It appears you, you described to the audio listener what you're seeing all right so we've got what looks like a pile like a little sa pile of sand it looks like a sand castle that got washed over too many times someone stuck a shovel in its head and now it's screaming <laughs> screaming in pain kill me kill me <laughs> yeah i can see it let's see uh man i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say that's not a pokemon Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. It is oh, a Pokemon. No. Oh, no. What what would you name it? Uh Sandastle. Not very close. Very close. <laughs> it's this is Sandy Gast. <laughs> this is another ghost, Sandy. It's a ghost ground Pokemon. You got you nice. nailed you got it. You're close. You're close. Next up. All right. The fuck is that a Pokemon, Nick? What we have here appears to be some sort of duck-like creature. It is a bright baby blue with big eyeballs. It's bipedal, walking on two legs. I will tell you, you can't see it in this picture, but it does have like a beaver tail. Uh, very nice. I'm, I'm going to say that's not a Pokemon. You are correct. It is, in fact, not a Pokemon. This is a Temtem named Platypus. I knew it. I was going to say it's from that other game, and I couldn't remember the name of Temtem. Nice. Cause... Very, very good. Very good. I was trying to be sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> N 
Nick, yes. the fuck is that a Pokemon? I'm gonna say that's definitely a Pokemon. Well, describe describe it for us. What we have here is a bunch of little metal V's decided to get together on a bunch of metal. What is that? It was hexagons, hexagons that are all nice and lined up, and it's got like angry eyes and round, glowy teeth. And you think? Lights. And you're saying that is a Pokemon? Yeah, I think that is a Pokemon. You would be correct. It absolutely is a Pokemon. What would you name that guy? Um. Oh God bless. Um. He's not here, buddy. Let me tell you, this is after <laughs> oh, <no>. Dark Cry. <laughs> There, oh, there man. is no god here. It's oh man, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Like I want to, I want to name it so either. Like I keep wanting to call it Magna, Magnus, or something. And it's like, oh, it's just Magneton. We're not doing Magneton. No, it's not Magneton. Yeah, uh, uh, I let's see. And then it's like, okay, well, something with Steel. And it's like Steelix. That's another Pokemon that already exists. You can't take that name for this guy. I give up. I uh, give this, up on this one. This is Cryogonal. I would not have. Guess it. oh he looks like a snowflake he's a snowflake he's actually oh, an ice yeah. type he's not steel but i can absolutely see why you would you would think that yeah i thought he was like some kind of metal disc man all right he's very weird he's legit uh next up nick yes the fuck is that a pokemon what we have here appears to be two gears with uh each one having two eyes one of which is an x like it's been poked in the eyeball with a mouth that appears to give you the expression of oh they, they've got mr bill face yeah like well <laughs> you'd look like that too if you got poked yeah. in the eye uh i'm gonna say that is a pokemon you are correct any That's... guess on the name uh uh you're long <laughs> <laughs> is actually clink clink yeah i wouldn't have gotten that that's not it's not a bad name though clink evolves in, any guesses on what it evolves into before we move on oh my god a wheel <laughs> a, a wheel but what's the name oh clink clank <laughs> clink close, close close you you actually nailed its final evolution's name <laughs> no, just not the next one it, it evolves into clang <laughs> <laughs> and then so, they they together evolve into clink or the the final evolution is clink clang. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. It's pretty good, pretty good. All right, Nick. All right. What the fuck is that Pokemon? Oh yeah, I I almost want to say that's definitely a Pokemon. Just to like, I have a friend who would like lose it. He'd go ballistic if I accidentally said that Agumon was a Pokemon. Oh, you know, so you know, you're a yeah. knower. I told oh, no. you, I told you, I was, I, I became a Digimon bro. <laughs> well, I this, uh, being Pokemon well, bro. this game was created before I knew that. Gotcha. <laughs> Good pick though. Nick. Nick, the fuck is that a Pokemon? That Go ahead and like describe describe what you see though. Okay, I, it's um so it's a little Pokemon with a with a mischievous. You think even... you think it's a Pokemon? Okay, it. it's a Pokemon looking thing with a mischievous, perhaps even mean little smile. It's got uh, pink stripes on a gray metal body, and it's got golden rings on. One in, holding one of them, one's on a horn, and the other one it's wearing like a hula hoop. And one of its arms looks... Oh, no, I thought it was like a drill, but it's just the arm is hovering beside it and its hand is facing backwards. Okay. Um, yeah. That's a Pokemon? I'm saying it's a Pokemon, yeah. You are correct. That is a mythical Pokemon, in fact. do you, do you What would you name that? Uh, it's definitely got some hoops in, on its, in its design, for sure. Like, they really wanted to to do like a mischievous sort of maybe it makes a hoopla I, I, the fuck i know fuck do i know <laughs> well that was that was i was gonna guess that as the name so i can't do that now oh you were gonna guess hoopla uh, yeah or something i mean yeah. you can guess hoopla oh my gosh yeah this is another one i don't really know where to start it's like add some random sounds to the end of the most defining aspect that's like how i know if we like if you like kind of has a gin quality to it yeah I'm gonna call. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call him or her Ringo. Ringo? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, the correct name is actually Hoopa. Ah, so Hoopa. Hoopa was you, really close. You would have almost nailed it. Yeah. 
Hoopa nice. is, I think, psychic dark. Don't quote me on that. Golly, <laughs> someone's screaming at me right now. Um, <laughs> next up. All right. The fuck is that a Pokemon? What we have here is some sort of cat with two tails that appear to have some sort of ethereal flame upon it. Uh, it's got a kind of similarly colored bell around its neck, I guess, with yeah. what looks to be like a kind of utility belt around it. <laughs> and it, it it's very cute. Very <laughs> Japanese, that's for sure. Oh, I can't. I know what that belt is called. It's like the Japanese belly band thing okay. like, that samurais always wear that they tuck their katana into, I think. Um, yeah, that's not a Pokemon. I've seen that guy before. Oh, uh, you're correct. I'm trying to be sneaky sneaky. <laughs> any, any, what would you name this guy? Oh, my God. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, like, I have no, it would have to be some kind of weird japanese name i can't do one on the spot ding, so I'm, ding, gonna, ding. I'm gonna call him josh ding. you know what i'm giving it to you it is a weird japanese name or well not weird but you know it is oh, yeah. a japanese name and it does start with a j it's uh jabanian so josh <laughs> is not you know outside of the realm of possibility maybe a localization <laughs> oh josh Cir circa the mid 90s sometime if you don't get this one, uh, we're ending the call and the episode right now. <laughs> it's Patamon. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's a Digimon. You got yeah. it. You nailed it. Generation Digimon. You nailed it. If you didn't know that was a Digimon, though, you'd be like, that's got to be a fucking Pokemon. God. I haven't like looked at a picture of Patamon in years. Like, like He's kind of weird. He's a right bundle of joy. It. He is, though. He's a, he's, he's a real cute little dude, but... Nick, the fuck is that a Pokemon? That is not have... a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, what we have here is a Scorp a very angry looking scorpion. And you say you're saying that's not a Pokemon. I'm saying that is definitely not a Pokemon. Really? Why do you say that? Um it's Pokemon have a certain design quality to them. This is true. And this does not have it unless you're being really crafty and you stole someone's fan art. <laughs> of it like and they were like yeah i'm gonna design it like he's a character from one of those cartoon network shows from like the early 2000s i don't know why it's hank hill well you're but... giving me oh god damn it bobby it's in <laughs> damn cartoon scorpions out of my boots oh <laughs> i'm okay dad uh uh i'll tell you right now i'm not that clever you're correct that is not a pokemon you don't need to give a name because it doesn't have one it's just a cartoon scorpion from stock <laughs> Just from stock <laughs> images, stock images, Google search. Google search stock cartoon scorpions. I'm having a stroke. Excuse me. You, you gotta be curious now about what you would get back if you like searched for not a Pokemon in an image search. Next up on the fuck is that a Pokemon? Nick, the fuck is that a Pokemon? That is that is a Pokemon. You sure? I am sure because I've seen that little dude before. Can't that remember well it, it definitely looks like uh, a child tried to create its their own pikachu doll that's yes. for sure it's very got it's got a kind of kind of tim burton haunting quality to it good um, way to put it uh yeah I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you you're correct it is in fact a pokemon i tried to i tried to tri be i tried to be sneaky um but what is its name gosh you know the worst part is somebody was actually referencing this pokemon the other day and they said the name and it went in one ear and out the other because like my brain isn't designed to remember well, pokemon it's now. clearly some kind of pikachu mimic i'll tell you yeah. that much yeah it's it's definitely trying attempting to mimic pikachu i'm uh i'm just i'm gonna make up a name now i'm called the meadow the... i'm sorry <laughs> do you need a that sounds like something a therapist needs to unpack no the name is uh mimic you mimic you oh that's right yep because i remember like thinking I, that's a very on the nose name i yeah i was teeing it up for you hard there yep yep i could not we got a few more just a few more got it got it all right We're... the fuck is that a pokemon i think that is not a pokemon nick what do you see i see 
it is a dinosaur head with a tail mm-hmm. sticking out of the back of it and legs coming out of where its ears would be. Yeah, it's definitely bipedal. It's like it's just a bipedal head. <laughs> yes, that's fins. exactly what it is. It's terrifying looking, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't want to run into that. That's just one of those things like you look at and you laugh, but if you like ran into that in the woods or coming out of a dark alley, you'd uh, you probably die of heart attack. You know, it looks like a biological version of the Mausers from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. This is a yeah yeah. I see that. Um, yeah, that's that's not a Pokemon. It, you're correct. It is not. Do you, uh, what would you name that that weird ass thing? Uh. Dinosaur head man. <laughs> Dinosaur head man. Uh, that is, that is Gao Gaussman. 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 So you, I mean, man was in there. <laughs> wow. I was. Uh, I was being a smartass. Okay. I don't know how to say this. Gaussman. How, how's it spelled? Gaussman. <laughs> <Yes>, man. <laughs> what the fuck. G a o s s m a n. Gaussman. It's a just... di- it is a Digimon. Oh, yeah. it's probably Gaussmon. Then. Gaussmon. Every Digimon okay. name ends in Mon. So maybe I just misspelled it. Maybe I need to see a therapist. <laughs> some subliminal, subliminal things coming through there for me. Huh? <laughs> having a break for break breakthrough, a breakthrough. Golly, Nick. Right. Yes. The fuck is that a Pokemon? Ooh. It appears to be. A weird bobble thing with a key ring with a bunch of different kind of keys all the way around it. Yeah. So, so, so someone's keys lost themselves and are having an existential crisis. Is what the I'm fuck saying. is that a Pokemon, Nick? I'm going to say that is a Pokemon. Okay. You are correct. It is, in fact, a Pokemon. What is its name? <laughs> oh, man. I couldn't even begin to guess. Uh, so I'll just make some. I'm going to call it. I call it uh, Kira. <laughs> I, I'll give it to you because key is in the name. It's Clef Key. I would, man, how do they come up with this stuff? I know like Hankins was snake backwards infamously. But... Yeah, Arbok was cobra backwards. Uh, so what type is that? Oh, man, let's see. Um, I'm thinking either ghost or psychic based on my limited understanding of how typing works in the modern era. Because you know, um, those are usually the weird ones, usually. No, it's actually a steel uh, fairy Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I steel forgot the fairy, fairy was even a thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we forgot that we got to go back for a second. What's, okay. What is Mimikyu's type? I would guess ghost, but I could be you, wrong. You would absolutely uh, be goddamn correct. Son, but he's got a second type. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, that's where you start. Mm, based on colors, I'd say ground, but nah, he's actually a uh, fairy as well. Oh my gosh, ghost fairies! Ghost fairy, nice. All righty, we are in the home stretch. All right, Nick. The fuck are these a Pokemon? Go ahead and describe what you see. I see a series of appliances that are orange and have little faces on them. There's a lawnmower, a washing machine, and a refrigerator. You're correct. And I'm going to say they're not Pokemon. Final answer? Yes. Uh, Incorrect. These are, in fact, Pokemon. Wow, that's... Now, what would you name? See, I got sneaky on this one. Uh, yeah, they they are in fact a species of ghost Pokemon that huh. possess household items. Interesting. And depending on what they possess, it changes their type. So we already know. I already told you it's ghost. So the washing machine is ghost water. Lawnmower mm-hmm. is ghost grass. Refrigerator is ghost ice. There's a fire one in there somewhere. I think I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but. Uh, what are their names, Nick? Oh, they all have different names. Maybe I don't know. You tell me. Oh my gosh! See, I ran out of all my good name, like made up names earlier. Now I'll tell you like, what. I'll, I'll give you yeah. a little hint here. Um, okay. In addition to the things I've already told you, but you were on the right track when you brought up Ekans spelled backwards as snake. <laughs> Man, like, 
I cannot. I, I would say something like appliance backwards, but I don't know how to say that as a word right now. Maybe a <laughs> little too right. complex. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's see. Uh man, I'm sorry. My like, you're just gonna have to do it because like my brain is your brain yeah, like, is like wasted. a motor that just won't that just it was is like quitting nope. on you yeah, yeah it was you, you told me these were pokemon stop. and it was like nope i'm done i don't understand what a pokemon is anymore. it's just it's just um motoring itself into oblivion yeah yeah got you uh the correct name of this uh is rotom oh my god yeah that's not the direction i was gonna try to like i was i was fixated on the ghost thing honestly it was rotom which is motor rotom. backwards fascinating all right last one okay this is a threefer okay Ooh. i'm not gonna tell you if all of these well let's just bring it up so there's three things here okay there's three drastically different things here in terms of mm -hmm. what they are like they're clearly not the same thing like the last the last one might have been right like the last yeah. one had some design elements that you're like okay they could all be the same that's not the case with these three. These are complete three completely different things. Yes. One is a giant. Oh God! How would you even describe that thing? You tell me. How would you describe that first one on the left there? It looks like some like cookie dough got rolled around in some garbage. <laughs> That's fair. That is absolutely fair. With some like weird like um, pigtails or not pigtails, but yeah, it's little pom poms on its head. Pom poms on its head, perfect. Um, and then just these gangly arms with like tubes for fingers. Yeah. yeah. I think the reason I was thinking cookie dough is it looks like it's got these weird colored spots, and my brain was like, oh, it's like yeah. M and M's, you know, for the uh, candy cookies. But the one in the middle is looks like a icy ice cream cone. Yeah. Um, with a Fish face. Happy. He's happy to be here. Uh, how would you describe that last one on the right there? The last one is like uh, a, a little black ghost possessing like a wooden mask made from like it's still got tree limbs sticking out of it. I will say I will tell you uh, that you can't see the other half, but it's basically got it, imagine another horn on the other side or yeah. another root. On the I other side, so it that it's so that it's somewhat symmetrical. Yeah, you just can't see it because the the images are layered on top of each other. So we have three designs here. Nick, if you would please go through each one of these and tell me the fuck are they Pokemon or the fuck are they not Pokemon? Let's see, man. The thing is, like, they all have stylistic elements that they could. They could this is why I on. wanted an artist to do this this challenge. <laughs> I wanted the finer. The, I wanted the finer detail observation of an artist examining art. I am 99% certain the third one, the the little ghost dude, mm -hmm. is a Pokemon. Okay. Um, actually, I, you know what? I'm going to say they're all three Pokemon. They all tick the right boxes. So tell me if i'm wrong fantastic you got it they're all yes. three pokemon you did it uh names though oh boy um i will help you on this by giving you some types here okay uh the first one on the left is a poison boy Ooh, okay the one in the middle is obviously an ice boy and the one on the right is a ghosty grassy fella all right did that help? I don't know if that helped at all. That might help. That might have helped with the. That might have helped with the first one. Let's see. Oh man. Uh, no, nah, it's it's not help. I can I can make up like a name. Like I'm gonna say the I'm gonna make up a name for the the one that looks like a snow cone. I'm just gonna call him Snowgo. Okay. Uh, and oh man, I had one. I had one, and I was like, that actually sounds pretty good for like the the weird mud poison guy. <laughs> Mudlick. I'm just gonna call Mudlick. It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you need therapy now. <laughs> and uh, uh blockhead. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Mudlick, it. blockhead, and, and what was the first snow go? Snow go. Mudlick, blockhead, and snow go. 
coming soon to a Pokemon game near you. Uh, no, the correct names are yes. Garbador. Garbador. <laughs> Garbador. Is the first one. So you I nailed was just something with garbage. Damn yeah, it. you nailed the fact you because you said garbage. Yes. So you nailed it. He's he's literally a trash bag that's exploded from being too full of trash. <laughs> oh, that is what they, I thought. It was like, why is there this plant draped on his head? No, that's the bag. Uh, his <laughs> his uh, right. pre evolved form is Trubbish, which is literally just a trash <laughs> bag with eyes. Nice. Um, the middle Pokemon here is called Vanillish. Oh. So it goes Vanillite, Vanillish, and Vanillux, which is a double, I uh, double cone, double scoop. Nice. Um. And the last one here is called Phantom, which is the ghost of a dead child that died in the got lost and died in the woods and came back as a Pokemon. You know, I have this. I'm gonna have a little aside, and that was that I have some friends who their popular theories, because like just how messed up some of the Pokedex entries are, is just that like Professor Oak is just like over there, like uh, smoking and like making junk up. <laughs> there's man, there's a lot of them. Let me tell you. Uh, you I know a lot of them are based on like Japanese yokai and stuff, and so that's like where the there's, it's like there's quite a good bit of them. That was uh, the fuck is that a Pokemon? Nick, thanks so much for playing. I hope you, the listener and the viewer, enjoyed that that little bit. That was a little 4D chest there. We haven't we've never had like a visual element to the show before, so that was a lot of fun. That was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was uh, I enjoyed that. That was cool. Uh, next. Nick, we have to roll a random po- Actually, no, wait a minute. Hmm. There's news. Oh, news, okay. I'm a fool. I'm a fool for you telling me what to do. I don't know my not knowing what I'm heading for. Uh, Nick, it's your turn to sing. Oh, shoot. You had to put me on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. I'm, I'm torn between like wanting to just start screaming slipknot lyrics or something you can take me uh i want to bleep your throat and bleep the wound i want to <laughs> stick my face in and feel the swoon i want to dig inside and find a little bit of me because the line gets crossed when you don't come see my word with me you'll never get it because you never alive after uh, blah blah mm, excuse me wow i just had a full-on meltdown. <laughs> what, what what better to do on a Friday night? Better to do on a Friday night, or whatever so... whatever night this is. Whenever you're listening to this, you can make up. You can be whenever. You can time travel. I'm trying to just bring up the details at this point um, of the news that I wanted to talk about, and it's being a pain in my ass. April 11th. April 11th of this year, the year of our Dark Gods 2021, uh, is this snivy Pokemon Go Community Day. Three times catch Stardust, three hour incense bonuses, and uh, evolve the second stage evolution into Superior for Frenzy Plant. Finally, finally and mercifully, Snivy's getting its community today. Snivy is a Gen 5 Pokemon and gen 6 just released okay like we've been waiting a long time for this it's been a pain in the ass like no joke um i at this rate i feel like we won't we definitely not going to get the gen 6 starter community days until next year like they've essentially stretched out community days with other things far enough to uh under the normal circumstances the other two starters would have already happened and this would probably be like the last of the gen 5 starters getting a community day but as it sits we're getting the first of the gen 5 starters with snivy and that feels good frenzy plants a great move on on grass attackers um the shiny looks great uh finally it's happening to me and i don't know how to contain my happiness i don't know nick yes t- t- is, you're just lost yeah um <laughs> i know i've heard the name snivy i know that he's one of the newer pokemon like i'm but like Ooh. as far as like pokemon community Ooh. days what what you know what don't take the time to explain it because that'd just be like your entire audience knows and i don't and like, it would just it'd be weird. Like you said, he's like one of the newer Pokemon, but really he came out like 
10 look, years ago. <laughs> look, look, every Pokemon patch in one is one of the newer Pokemon for me. That's what you have to understand. That's, oh, that's how man. behind the times I am in the world of Pokemon. It's great. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Snivy, Snivy's cool. Glad to finally get that, get the community today in the books. Uh, I imagine they're going to stretch out the other two, uh, Tepig and Oshawott, in, in, into, you know, golly. It, I mean, at this rate, we probably won't see the end of this Gen 5 starters until the end of summer. I imagine at the earliest. Maybe, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, and then we probably uh, similarly won't see the Gen 6 starters until next year. So what um what kind of effect is, is this like, is it behind because of COVID or are they just doing this to like? No, 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 not COVID. I think that, so Pokemon Go, they have a limited amount of content to work with, right? Like the mm -hmm. big things that people, the, the big sellers as it were, are the big motiva motivation factors are raids and shinies and raids and shinies honestly let's be honest here like um so oh and pvp excuse me sorry sorry guys sorry i know a bunch of you that listen like pvp and i'm I, I forget i forgot i'm sorry please don't hurt me um <laughs> but yeah like so when it comes to catching shinies or legendaries and stuff you're gonna have to do that through raids or just getting lucky or or community days where they're more common or events or whatever so, but you also, you need to introduce these things, like drip feed these things into the game so that people yeah. always have something exciting. So like every weekend, practically, there's a, at least a small event of some type. Um, right now, as of this recording is like the weather event where they've released the shiny for the rain form of cast form. Um, so they, they drip feed, like the Pokemon will come out. This shinies won't necessarily be be available yet um but eventually they'll come out so the snivy shinies actually in the game they released it a while ago but they didn't do a community day for it which is usually the status quo for starters they usually get their shiny unlocked during a community day and during community day the shiny chances are a lot higher and there's a almost exclusively the community day pokemon is available worldwide for a few hours so basically what I'm thinking is they're getting caught up with the main series games and they don't you, you, really, that's a problem. That's going to be a big problem someday. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, that would be a yeah. problem. Eventually there will be no more shinies to introduce. There'll be no more Pokemon to introduce aside from Just a few reruns of old stuff, which they've already started doing. We got a Charmander community day. It was the second time we've done that one. We got that last year. Um, They've definitely been testing the waters with Community Day. Last year, they'd had a lot of votes for what... They were clearly dipping their toes in some queso to see what people would find acceptable. And uh, people voted Charmander. So Charmander got its second. Uh, you know, they exper experimented with uh, things that didn't have three evolutions or, uh, or three stages. They had some that were two. They had some that had multiple forms instead. Um it, it, usually it seems to be with these things the shiny is the driving factor um there are a lot of people that hunt for 100 percenters or pvp relevant stats things like that but by and large it's the shiny that's that that's making people want to play and, and especially on community today it's just it's normal to, to nab a whole bunch of shinies to the point where they're no longer relevant when you find them in the wild thereafter but um Anyway, yeah, it's just uh, what I, I'm rambling at this point. Yeah. It, it's not due to COVID. They're just trying to stretch out the amount of content uh, that they can add to the game and keep people excited and make it feel somewhat fresh, I guess. And not, well, not fresh, but you know what I mean. Offer more stuff to do over time. That's going to be a big deal here in assuming next year. I don't think they're going to release Gen 7. Um, this year i just don't think it's happening usually they release it they start to release a gen uh once a year uh and they never release all of them they only do a few at a time so that they can like spread them out uh i don't think we're getting gen 7 this year i really don't i think it's going to be next year 
because there's only eight gens of Pokemon. Yeah, um, that being the case, they would probably be smarter to like drag it out some because yeah, yeah once you hit Gen eight, that's like I don't want to say game over, but like then you well, gotta wait for. It takes about a year for them to slowly release all of them, you know, and they yeah. save mythicals and legendary, like legendaries get saved for special raid events and things and they rotate in and out. Um, mythicals are usually, mythicals are a bit different because there's, they're only for like special events and you only get like, you usually only get one per account. Not always the case, like Dark Rye and Genesect, you can, you can get them you know just in regular raids when they're available but um yeah like even after gen 8 comes out they'll still have a, a, you know about another year's worth of content just releasing that and then they'll probably just be a handful of mythicals and cast offs here and there um that aren't out yet and 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 then that's it i don't know what they're going to do the year after gen 8 comes out because by then most of that stuff's going to be out i don't know i just don't know Maybe maybe at the end they'll finally release Kecleon in the game. He's been he's been missing for so long. Um, but yeah, community day. Woo! Legit, too legit to quit. Nick, we have to roll a random Pokemon. Okay. It's the thing of this show. All right. How do we do it? Uh, well, first I got to do this. Okay. Thing right here in just a second. All righty, number 573. Nick, do you care to take a guess on what Pokemon that is i i could okay <laughs> i you're you're asking someone who's never seen the color red to describe red essentially here <laughs> yeah it's chinchino chinchino is the uh scarf pokemon it evolves from Minchino when exposed to a shi shiny stone. So let's start with Minchino. Um, Minchino, like, what can I tell you? It's literally a chinchilla. It's <laughs> cute, big old eyes, giant ears, big long tail. It's it's a chinchilla. 100,000%. Um, they greet one another by rubbing each other with their tails, which always which are always kept well-groomed and clean. They prefer a tidy habitat. They're always sweeping and dusting, using their tails as brooms. Um, a clean freak that will not allow even the slightest mess. It uses its tail like a mop to thoroughly clean any and all filth. Uh, and when its tail has gotten dirty from self-cleaning or from cleaning its nest, Mancino spends a whole day washing its tail in clean spring water. Uh... Let's go. Shiny's good. The Poke Toy item is based on Minchino's tail. It is imp it is possible for Minchino that appear in the world of Pokemon Intro and Pokemon Black White to be shiny. Uh, Minchino and its evolved form were designed by Atsuko Nishida, and almost no changes were made to her original designs. They were intended to be parallels of Kanto's Clefairy and Clefable. Pokemon that everyone would think was cute. Nishida was hired specifically for her reputation in Game Freak for her skill in designing cute characters. Michino is the only Pokemon to be part of the world of Pokemon intro that evolves in its game sequel, evolving into Chinchino between the events of Pokemon Black and White and Pokemon Black, Black 2 and White 2. And its name is based on Chinchilla. Its tail may be based on feather dusters or brooms as they use their tails to clean their dens. There you go. There's a Minchino. Chinchino. Hang on. Hang on. Evolves via a shiny stone, and just imagine a bigger Minchino with a tail that wraps all the way around it like six times. Uh, I'm going to look at pictures of these. Do it! Chinchino! Uh, due to an error, Chinchino is unable to learn Thief via TM in Pokemon Black and White, while its pre-evolved form, Minchino, does. This issue was later fixed in Black 2 and White 2. Chinchino and its pre-evolved form were designed by Atsuko Nishida. We just said that. 
Uh, chinchino seems to be based on a chinchilla. Its white hair is very similar in appearance to high-class women's hairstyles in the early 1600s. The white fur draped around its neck resembles shawls, scarves, and boas, possibly a reference to how chinchillas are controversially hunted for their fur. And there you go. Chinchino. Now, Nick. Those, yes, those are oh, adorable. Go ahead. They are oh. adorable. I will say the chinchino shiny is bad. I don't like it. Oh, no. Uh, I actually caught a shiny Manchino and I evolved it without looking it up. Case in point, why you always look up the evolve form shiny because there is no going back once you mm. once once you do it. Forever yeah. sad. Uh, Nick, next we have to do a song based on Chinchino or Manchino or both. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna Manchino I've... your throat. And Chinchino the wound. I want to stick my face in and feel the fur. I want to slick inside and feel a little bit of me because the line gets crossed when you don't chin chin. Okay. What do you got? What do you got, Nick? Oh, what I got to try one now. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, damn it. You'd like. You, I'm putting you okay. on the spot a lot this episode. I, does, it, does it have to be like a, a real song or? Oh, uh, I usually parody, but if you if you want to give me a, a freestyle rap, I'll beatbox. <laughs> please, please don't. That would just make it worse. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh you're, you're killing me. I'm ter- I'm not musically gifted. Let's see. I'm not. <laughs> let's see. Oh, no. So it has so Mancino or Chinchino. I'll help you. Let's just Thank do you. You've Got the Touch, but replace uh, You've Got the Men. you got the <laughs> Chino. Yeah! All right. That's good enough. <laughs> I, am, I am sorry that I, I have let you down. I'm sorry I've one. let the audience down, yeah. as, as I do with every episode of the show. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's just the way it works around these parts. Um, and you know what? If you can do better, leave a rating and review telling me that you can. <laughs> no, you have to record your song and send it in. Record, Prove. yes. Fit it into your rating and review. Um, holy moly, Batman. Rice a rolly. Uh, check out Nick at those places we talked about. If you're watching yep. on YouTube, you see it up on the screen. Instagram.com slash Nicodemus Rex with two X's or Patreon.com slash Nicodemus Rex with two X's. Uh, links in the descriptions if you want to check them out. Give them a, at least Thank give you. them a follow, Thank guys. You. I know you're on Instagram. I see you scrolling on Instagram. Excuse me, sorry. I got I got a little um, excited or something. Uh, follow me on Twitch.com slash Breaker Streams. Nick, you're there as well. I, you don't stream often, but yeah, it uh, the same it name, was, right? What's that? Same name? Yeah, yeah, it should be. I believe. Have you ever considered going back there to just instead of playing games, like just drawing live on on there? Well, that's that's what I was doing. It's just, um, right. but you yeah. haven't done it in a while, though. Right? Is it, it takes a certain amount of setup, and I know, like, I don't, I don't like having people watch me while I draw on the oh. like that. It's like I'm like, oh, that makes you uncomfortable. I understand. Yeah. Totally, totally get it. Um, that's okay. But yeah, follow Nick on his Instagram. F- follow him on his Patreon. Follow me at Breaker Streams at Twitch.tv. Uh, follow the podcast at Instagram on Instapod Dog and After Dark Rye on Twitter. Fuck, do all the things that I say they'll do, but no one ever does. Rate, review, leave us five stars. If you leave us only four stars, Inclined what are you to think doing with your life? Yeah, what are you doing with your life? You jerk is what you are. God, what is it? What does it hurt you to leave five? Why are you leaving four? What What are you doing? I'm asking. Why? What? Come on. What do I got to do? Whose toes do I have to let queso off of to get a rating review around here? I don't know what I'm going with any of this. Nick, we we just we just got it. We're just gonna end the show. We just got to do it. We got to do All the right. thing. Do you want okay. to tee it up or do you want me to tee it up? I'll tee it up. You just start with after, cool. right? Sure. Okay. So after you get out of the car, Darker Eye will come and pick you up and take you real far. Hey, there bye you everybody! <laughs> oh, oh, I feel, oh. Someday, I hope that I make a good show that people like. It's my dream. <laughs> It'll happen. You 
she got to she's gotta believe. She's gotta believe. Oh man, that's the end of the show. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna stop stop the recording. Nick, Trust. thank you. Thanks again, buddy. Yep, glad to be here. I'm um, me too. Spooky.